Hey there, it's Cheryl. Today we're going to talk about one tip for teens to rock productivity. But first, I have to be completely transparent with you. This is still a work in progress for me. I have gotten a lot better, but I have to tell you, if I had this one tip down when I was a teen, I would have gotten to where I want to go so much quicker. I've also seen with everyone that I work with from high school to college all the way to world-class athletes, these people that master this one tip really accelerate their progress and create some free time for themselves. And this is incredibly important, especially for teens these days. Teens need to learn to time block. Now what time blocking is, is creating a very dedicated, specific, amount of time to get something done. It's typically between 30 and 50 minutes. The reason why it's not any longer than 50 minutes and the reason why teens should not sit down and study longer than 50 minutes without a break is that there's diminishing returns, meaning their focus is going to drop off after 50 minutes. So if they can learn to time block and set aside 30 to 50 minutes of concentrated and protected time to get something done, either for studying or practicing their extracurricular, they'll be ahead of the game. Now this sounds incredibly simple, and it is simple. The only problem is it's not easy. So here are a couple tips for teens to learn how to time block and be more productive. First, they need to plan ahead. They need to have a very clear understanding of what's required either for school or for their sport. Usually for sports though, this environment's a little bit controlled, so planning ahead isn't as important there. But for studying, it's very important to have clarity on what's being expected of them. Also, then they need to block out their time of exactly how much time they're going to spend and when it's going to get done. So don't take it from me, take it from Sir Winston Churchill who said, he who fails to plan is planning to fail. It all starts with planning. Second, teens need to manage distractions so their time blocking can be effective. Based on the last few decades of neuroscience research, it's literally impossible to multitask and do it well. So when teens are on FaceTime or reading Snapchats or anything like that, it's very, very difficult for them to focus and focus well on the work that they're doing. It's just drawing out an assignment or studying that's really making it longer than it needs to be. And also, they're not retaining the information as well as they could. So that's very important to manage distractions. Another thing that they can do is to let their friends and family or whoever they're around know that they're time blocking or that they have a certain designated amount of time that they're using. That way they can minimize their distractions or interruptions. And then finally, in order to manage distractions, teens can control the environment that they're in. So they should be somewhere quiet. In other words, if they're in a library, they need to be somewhere quiet in the library rather than in a big table where everyone's talking and distracting them. If they're practicing for their sport or their extracurricular, again, it's probably controlled. So it's not as worrisome as controlling their environment and managing distractions when studying. Now, the fourth thing that teens need to do in order to be able to time block efficiently is to write those time blocks down. So that means either in their planner, a piece of paper, or even on a whiteboard. Teens need to see it in order to be it because if they don't write these things down, they're a lot less likely to happen. So here's an example. If a teen needs to memorize 20 Spanish vocabulary words, they're gonna write down on a piece of paper or whiteboard or wherever is convenient for them, memorize 20 Spanish vocabulary words between four and four and 30. So that means they have set aside a very specific time block that they're gonna limit their distractions and interruptions and get it done. Writing it down is really important. Time blocking, again, is very concentrated and focused time for teens to either study or get some practice done for their extracurricular. It's very important so they can learn how to time block. In other words, it will help accelerate their progress and will give teens a little bit more free time while 
really being able to master what they're trying to get done. And it'll also give them a sense of accomplishment that something is getting done that they can check off. And that's an incredibly good feeling to get something done and cross it off. If you found this information helpful, I ask that you share on Facebook so it can help a couple other teens. And I look forward to seeing you next time.